Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halo Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I even forgot who I was this morning. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna run into this church rummage sale to see what we can find of Flip for a Profit. We'll see you inside. All right. Bye. Bye. That's interesting. Okay. This is new in box, like. Cool. I'm gonna kind of go through. Does this turn? I don't know. That's scary. That bullet thing. Home security. There's a. That's Kobe. I'll take it. Yeah. It's a fondue set, but Kobe is like high end. Horton, here's a who? She's got so oh, many, so many crayons. What is that? What is it? Big little game, so I don't know, Vegas. So. Yeah. There's a pack of Uno. She likes playing Uno. Let's put the mushroom. I know. Hey, how are you? I haven't even looked yet. I was eyeing that pumpkin. I wanted to see if you had rivets. Ooh, yeah, I seen him through the window actually. Oh, he's kind of cool. Oh, I think he's brass.
Can you put this in your bag? Is that brass, you think? Sorry, this is my bag. Oh, go right ahead. Hi, everyone. Well, we made it through that church rummage sale. <laughs> so, we're going to show you what we picked up. It was kind of crazy there. I like this sale because they have no... They just put it out. It's free. The sale is free. If you want to make a do donation, of course we do. Um, it's They just want to get rid of it. So they're not actually, they don't look this stuff up. They're yeah. just putting it on the shelf yeah. trying to get rid of the items. So that's why this is a good sale because yeah. they have no connection to it. No they just want to no. put up the items yeah. and move on. So we're going to go through. We actually picked up quite a bit. You know, you pick up stuff for your family. You pick up stuff for sale. Um, so I'm going to, I grabbed these t-shirts. I grabbed two of these um, Jasmine t-shirts. One, I'm going to keep one. Haley's going to take one. I grabbed those. I grabbed this one for Scott. <laughs> the Christmas Story. So how can you go wrong with a Christmas story? And his favorite color is red. Mm, so yeah. looks big enough too. And I mean, it's not gonna be too. No, oh, is it? Oh, cool. I grabbed this shirt for my mom because I don't know. I can just see her wearing that with the butterflies. Mm. And I grabbed this one for Haley because she is a February woman, and it says, "What does it say? She has been through hell." Believe me when I say fear her when she looks into a fire <laughs> and smiles. So I grab that for Miss Haley. I thought that was kind of interesting. I like the retro girl on there though. That's kind of cool. The center. I think mm -hmm. she'll enjoy that. So those were my shirts I grabbed. I grabbed one shirt. Um, it, it looked vintage. I wasn't sure. It just kind of looked neat. It was this logo. It was this... Uh, Kiwana Japan yeah, Brewery Kiwana Japan or something? Brewery Supply or... company? Yeah. yeah. So, I figured it was kind of cool. Maybe somebody was in Japan somewhere went to a brewery or something. Yep. Kind of cool. So then... Um, oh, yeah. Trick or treat. Um, he's frowning there. Well, and I'm sure I can get the yeah. Oh, yeah. who signed it. Pretty Paul. Good. Yeah, it's marker. You know, posh ticket. Really. Yeah, or just a. The only thing wrong with him, he does have his original handle, but they did the rivet repair. probably came off of it, so they yeah. repaired it. But uh, he is still super cool. So mm. I definitely grabbed him. He is an older Empire one, so. Yeah, how can you go wrong? And he even still has his, like, trick-or-treat tag on the bottom, too. So, super cool with that. What did you grab, Scott? Um, I was looking up. I had a full-size Homer Simpson <laughs> mask from the 90s. Yeah, look at that guy. Homer, he's never even been worn. No. I'd put him on, but I was afraid well, I wouldn't get him off. <laughs> I think Halloween's only 168 days mm -hmm. away, you guys. Yeah, still got the tags and everything. There's nothing wrong with them. No rips, no blemishes, no nothing. So we gotta research him. Yep. Maybe the lips. He's kind of cool. Uh. No. Um. Look at oh, this guy. A solid brass. This yeah, thing is heavy. huge. He is huge. Lots of patina. 
He has no mark on him, but oh my gosh. His tail's even too big oh, to yeah. use as a... <laughs> you could put bracelets on it, maybe, <laughs> but not rings. But he is. Yeah. He's cool. So I grabbed him. We get, just take the cat out. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool. What do you got? Um, I got this canteen. It is... Uh, Steve's. Steve had a canteen. <laughs> yeah. Steve had a canteen. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's got a really nice canteen. These are the ones you see on people carrying on horses and stuff. It's got, like, the cloth on it and stuff. I don't know. See what it's worth and not use it camping. Give it to... Uh, Give it like to a, Addie. Yeah. She'd probably think it's cool to yeah. drink out of. I grabbed these. Mm. Look at those guys. Oh, my gosh. I wish... I might just try and find one cup or, I don't know. I just mm -hmm. absolutely love these. But, of course, because they're green and daisies are on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why your girl loves them. Yeah. But look at the little holder. Yeah. The Mark Japan so on the bottom. They are Mark Japan. I might try and find, like, either two cups so that the thing is full and maybe keep one of these for myself or try and sell it the way it is. I don't know if this is missing something. Oh. Um, it looks like a little wheelbarrow. It almost looks like, like I don't know if you could put your paper towel on there or something. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows, make a comment below. Like, is that mm -hmm. the way that's supposed to be? With that little, it looks like a little wheelbarrow, but why is this hook here? And then like uh, these the like that. Out a little bit, but I don't know. And this comes off. I have no idea what's that, like, why is that like that? I don't know. Oh. But if you know, comment below. I thought those were super pretty, though. Oh, my gosh. Just big bag of yarn. And we have, we sold a bunch is. of yarn on eBay. And then there's, like, this one, mm. one or two skeins that's hanging out. So, um, we're going to probably put that all together to see yeah. if we can't get that to move. Um, I picked these up. Remember the, the big salad bowl in the last one? Got to have acrylic tongs to go with it. Oh, yeah. And that was, uh, these really don't sell for much, but, um... The bowl is too scratched on the bottom, but I was going to use it for the camper so we can have fancy hands to toss our salads with in the mm -hmm. camper. Yeah, just what you need camping. Right? Yeah. Fancy tongs. Fancy tongs for the camper. <laughs> uh, two brass candlesticks. Um, they're marked Japan on the bottom. Um, but I just thought they were neat, and usually these do relatively well, especially the vintage. Yeah, just basic little brass candlesticks. I grabbed these. These are actually in the wrong box. So I think people got new Corel dishes and they just put them in here. But the Corel dishes that have like this wave pattern, that edge on there, usually sell very well for me. So I picked them up because of that pattern on there. But these would have just been the white Corel that are in the box. This is, I want to say English country or something um, pattern on there. So, but because of that wave, I picked them up. So I grabbed those. I found this uh, picture. It's a haul. Uh, my wife likes to collect them, so I'd seen it and grabbed it. It has like uh, factory defects on it, though, right here. That's not a chip or a scratch. It's like right into the, the glazing of it. These little white specks. I mean, it's not paint loss or anything. It's all shellacked over. It's just, it's just blemishes from the factory. It looks like the pictures I collect, but I actually collect the Mark Crest. Oh. The Marcrest um, colored ones, not the brown glaze. But I do have Marcrest. That does look similar to this. They're like a little bit squashed. They're not as round. Um, and they have like a wave pattern on them. 
but very, very similar to these. So he is correct that I do mm. collect some of these pictures. And this is still probably going to be pretty good for resale, though. It is a haul. It is marked. And mm. it is kind of a cool color. I love the purpley color on it. It's still a nice pickup. Mm -hmm. I picked up, I don't know. Look at the pattern on this, though. And um, I think this is just a bunch of knitting needles in here. And it's complete. And I had like just a pair of knitting needles that was no big deal. And those have sold. So this whole thing in the case, I, you know, thought I'd take my chances on it with it being like a full set. So see how that does. And I found these uh, two candlesticks. They're pottery. Um, they looked really neat and they were signed. So I'm um, trying to see. Uh, they're um, Bailey. Uh, they're from Ireland. Bailey. Mm. I can't remember. Bailey. Dungay? Dungan. Dungan. I'll write the name yeah. in here. They are actually Ireland. So they did have like a cool kind of glaze mm -hmm. on them. I don't know if you can see that. Like the purple. And it's got mm -hmm. like a little. It's got to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. But it is a company that's out of Ireland. So they are kind of cool. Picked up a lot of pottery this week. Um, oh, cool. A couple little Tupperwares. I believe I have a green lid that we can switch this out. But these are always good to have around. Just the small ones. Mm -hmm. What a camper. I don't know. They'll probably go up for sale. I have no idea. But I yeah, just, you know, you see vintage Tupperware with that that classic orange, yellow, and green. You know, I don't know. I picked those up. I have a Cookie Monster. Cookie. He is a Hasbro Softies. Made in the USA. Yeah. He's got a little age to him. He's seen, he's seen some some things, so he's been around. Yeah. Who doesn't like Cookie Monster? Mm -hmm. He's super cute. I grabbed this bag of, um, I grabbed it because it's a bunch of, I want to say these are pretty vintage. Whenever I see like anything plastic like this, I think Jewel Bright right away. So it was a bunch of these, like, I don't know if these are for you, the bulb covers, but there's a, probably about 20 yeah. of them in here. It looks like a light snap in there. Yeah, and there's just a bunch of, like, bulb replacements, mm -hmm. older ones. Um, I picked them up mostly for those plastic bulbs because I think they would be good for decoration. They did have, like, a couple little tiny bells in there. Um, just a random, it was just a random bag of, I really grabbed them though for all these little plastic bulbs that are in here. The rest is probably nothing really exciting, but I grabbed it for that. And I found a Goofy. He's uh, actual, well, he's from Walt Disney World. So he came from kind of the shop there, but... I did notice he's got a tiny little like uh, moth bite in his foot and a little one on his chest. I don't know if we can fix that or not. He's missing his teeth too. Oh, he's missing one of his hands. He no, might just be a It's reason. still there, yeah, but he's just hanging. But I don't know. It was free. That's why I grabbed it. I don't know. Um, Addie likes to play Uno, so I grabbed a package of Uno cards and then these were... Uh, Pikachu Uno cards. They aren't in their box, but um, I don't even know if they're all there, but I grabbed them because they were Pikachu for her. And then I just grabbed a couple little handheld games. She was already playing the um, deal or no deal one. There's a deal or no deal. And then there's a mini Vegas poker. So, I don't know, I just grabbed those to see if she would play them or I'll just maybe 
get a bunch of them, lot them together and throw them up on eBay. It's all you can My wife likes old recipes. I found this on the table Retro sitting Cooking there. Wednesday. And it's got a lot of old ones. Recipes from newspapers from like the 60s and 50s and 70s. I like the little box. Yeah. The box is super cute on there. The whole box. And she's got all the little recipes in there. Yeah, that's cute. Mm. I do like yeah. the box. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a nice sturdy little box. Yeah. I voted. They voted. Yeah. Yeah. So then um, I've been looking for, well, I want nice silver ones, but I haven't been able to find any, but I just want some pie servers for my own collection. Um, I haven't been able to find any yet, so I did grab this guy. He's just a little silver plate by, what is it, Tulip? Um, I can't see it. Silver Tulip. It's just a little silver plated one, so... I wanted those, and then I um, picked up these older ice cream paddles. Um, this one is Zerol. It's an aluminum one. And then this one is Walbro. Just two nice vintage aluminum ice cream paddles. I picked up a Micro Helmets. Um... Rydell Spartans, they're brand new in the box. They had a huge box of them in this. This one lady was grabbing a bunch of them, so I just, I grabbed two of them. If anything, I know a couple of friends who are Spartan fans, I'll just saying, give them to them. That's about it. There, we have those other vintage little um, helmets. Maybe we could just throw them together with that lot. We haven't posted that yet. Yeah, that's true. All you little ones from the 70s. Yeah. So. Okay. And I don't know why I grabbed this. This is a Yastu Hummer hardtop. I don't know either. <laughs> 20 it, bucks is 20 bucks. Maybe yeah, he'll sell for 20 maybe. bucks. Maybe. It's cast iron or die cast. Um, everything works on the doors and all that. It's not missing anything. Nothing's busted off of it that I can tell. I don't know. Maybe somebody will want them. And, uh, yeah. Maybe somebody really likes their Hummers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah just okay. gonna actually this found free. this um huge this thing is huge this is a huge paperweight with all the control bubbles in it yeah it's not signed i look for a signature it's just probably her glass maybe yeah it's it's actually really nicely done, though. The yeah, bottom's and, and polished. That, that'll it's, hold a, a real uh, paper. That's kind of cool. So he grabbed that. And just an old vinyl repair kit. I haven't even looked in there yet. I just need something to fix the, the cover on my truck. So basically free, so I'll give it a whirl. If it's still any good. And this one are uh, clippers. I really haven't looked at them yet. They're uh, W A H L wall clippers. That's yeah, pretty much got everything in there. I was just gonna check them out. It's something to do my sideburns with. My husband pies me frogs all the time because he knows uh, I like them. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> he that. He grabbed this frog. Hanging on the side of a bookcase. <laughs> okay. All right. So the last two things. You want to do the lights first? No, it doesn't right. matter. Do you find this Um, You know, I grabbed this Kobe. You know, I had a teapot that was Kobe that actually um, was decent. But this mm -hmm. one, this is an older set. And I thought that, yeah, I thought it was glass. interesting how the thing was yeah. glass. It's all in here. I'm not going to take it all out. Yeah, everything's there, though. But it's, I liked how that was kind of interesting. So, I don't know. Look it up. Yeah. See if it's worth anything. I haven't really seen Fontu Pile with the glass bottom on yeah. it like that. It's actually that fancy. Kobe Professional. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll have to look into this a little bit more. 
What I'm learning still is Mr. Christmas. She tells me anything Mr. Christmas is good to get. Yep, grab it. And it does work. We did plug yeah, it in. Yeah, plug it in. Everything and runs. It still has its lights. box. So, you, I mean, usually yeah. Mr. Christmas is at least 50 bucks. Yeah. So, all, all the pieces are there. Why not, and right? It works. Yep. So, he still has his box. Yeah, got lucky on that one. We just have to retie it in there, you know, all the things. Down yeah, we'll try and put it back in the box a little bit better. And those were the items that we picked mm -hmm. up from our little little, uh, little church yeah, church dogs, sale. Yeah. The little yeah. that they're just trying to get rid of stuff. A little walkabout. So, <laughs> yeah. But with that being said, this is Lynn and Scott from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. helping our channel grow. And with that, um, we will see you soon, right? Yeah. I'm going to start, well, I have a live sale Tuesday, um, and I might do that Halloween. I'm going to look at how much Halloween stuff I have, and um, because I think I think it is only like 170 days till Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we want to think about it yet, but um, I don't know, something yeah. fun to do on Tuesday. I do have a live sale with Vinny coming up on the oh, 18th yeah. on nice. Thursday at 6 o'clock, so look for me on Vinny's channel. I will be on there. And we're, I'm going to head to Frankenmuth has their village sales this weekend. So I will be heading there to Frankenmuth and Midland where I live also has their sales. So let's, I'll probably see you next week. I'll show you what I got on those. And with that being said, we are going to sign off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe everyone. Mm -hmm. Have a great one. Bye, Bye everyone.